at any higher quality, and but though mainly it's because um, um, oh, what do you bloody well call it? Um, yeah, 1080p freezes somewhat. It's just for a moment. Might cut out a bit of a word, what have you. But I I'm not a fan of it, and it's random. It, it I saw one video. It just flickered a few times and it paused for just the briefest of moments. It, it completely negligible. But at the same time, though actually I think I was recording at 60 frames per second at that stage. Though at other times it will actually blank for 20 seconds or more, cutting out entire jokes or whatever. Um, it's actually quite irritating. So I'm recording in 30 frames per second to 720p, hoping that it's enough. I haven't been checking my videos to make sure it's right, but um, I did notice when I stopped recording in 60 frames per second, the freezing from what I did see went down. Um, so I presume if I'm recording in 720, it's gone down even further. Um, but I would prefer to be recording on the higher graphics quality, though I can't without uh, compromising the videos. So I'll read the tea. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed, of the cursed city Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to Utigo Cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. My family has been here since the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now... It's horrible. The loved ones we buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. Well, actually, I'm just gonna pop, poke my head out of here for a moment. Actually, I can't go in there. Can I talk to ye? No. There's the Book of Cain. It's for identifying things. Not that you really need it. And I have a ton of stuff in there, but I can't access them in the slightest. Let's poke our head into here. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Again, I'll read this for you. Um, we've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain, Rumf Cap Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I, can I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Remember that six days comment. That will be relevant later. Are you Leah? They tell me you survived the falling star. I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but Watch out! The wounded are turning. Smacky smacky. This is killing business. <laughs> What literally? I'm just like, you know, skeletons everywhere. Shouldn't these guys be covered in blood? Also, you might want to eat that those that bread. Welcome to the slaughtered cafe. Bring me whatever treasures you have no use for. I'll give you a bit of coin to save up for your casket. This guy used to sell potions and whatnot, but now it's potions have been replaced with this. You used to ha buy potions of different qualities. Now you just buy you know, buy this potion. That's it. You start off with this potion, that's it. Um, so you may still find gear that boosts potions by so many uh, units of health. Like, it restores an extra 8 points. It's worthless. That effect, anyway. Also, this he beast's head. I wonder if I meant to uh, recognize it from something else. Like some uh, notable beast from one of the previous games. Or um, local wildlife kind of thing. Certainly I don't, but I'm wondering, should I? The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Something like putting the dead back to sleep? I can do that. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Alright. I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky was no rock. A rock doesn't cause the dead to leave their graves. Unless the rock has necromantic power. Have you come to help us? The other adventurers who came through here didn't look so deadly. I don't care. Have you come to yeah, help us? Nothing else to say. Wait, anyone over here? On a few other trips in, there are other people who talk. And she's just talking about the quest. Maybe it's the same 
text that gave it to you? Yeah. I was getting concerned there. They seem to keep talking. And for some reason, Kane's house is now open. No idea why. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety, but I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. We've come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I might finally find the answers I seek. Little worries after my safety. But I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hell can be found here. Hopefully you he can hear it, it's just fine. It'd be a nuisance if you couldn't. But like I said, it'll be fine in the next set. On, uh, first few episodes will have the lower audio. Then, you know, the rest will be fine. I've come to help. How do we stop these risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Have faith, Captain. Have faith. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricade! To be honest, I've never actually been able to understand how all this works. Uh, like, they're vomiting out the horrors. Then, how are people just rising from the graves and whatnot? Uh, and why did the other guys turn? Did he eat the vomit? Like, it makes... I, I really don't understand it. Uh, normally, like, necromantic things is... Oh, a necromancer casts a spell! and Or, there's necromantic plague. Th that I can understand, but... Here, it's either multiple causes... Or that they're attributing everything to one cause... That doesn't make any sense. Maybe the people got wounded and the necromantic vomit that's happening up uh, happening from the wretched mothers got into the wound and turned people or maybe they just turned passively as well the the, the wretched mothers they do their work and the meteors raising any who die uh, any people who die kind of thing I have no idea it, it, the game does make it clear as far as I remember when Leah told us the dead were pouring out of the cathedral, we quickly went to put an end to it. At first, it seemed we were succeeding, but the, but they just kept coming. We, well, we were overcome. Captain Dalton and the men fought valiantly. They protected me. I am no soldier. I am... I was a farmer. I should not have been out there with them. I do not know how I made it back here. None of the others did. Now, somehow, I'm supposed to lead the militia. Yeah, that's not a good position to be in. It sucks. It sucks to be blunt. People were complaining about the, like, the art direction for the game, claiming it looks too happy. Yeah, and whatnot. But, to be honest, I quite like it. it looks quite nice. What did he say? Nothing stops a crusade, or knowledge stops a crusade? In that case, you know, no one tell him about the, about the concept of libraries. Okay, now we punish, that does that, we also get slash. Ignite here in front of you, dealing 230% weapon damage as fire. So, say if you have a two-handed weapon, you can't use punish, so you can use this instead. There's smite. Smite enemies up to three, uh, to up to 30 yards away with holy chains that deal 175 weapon percent weapon damage as holy. Chains break off and strike up to three additional enemies within 20 yards for 150 percent weapon damage as holy. So that's quite nice. Hurl a hammer of justice at your enemies, dealing uh, 245 percent weapon damage. I'm going to stick with this because this is nice. Actually, wait. This might be an AoE of some sort. Unlike the other thing. Hmm. You know, to compensate for the fact you're... Yeah, it's an AoE. 
Yeah, I'll go with that. Wait, there's a wretched mother over there. And we've damaged Claw Tunic and some gloves. I do like his gear design. Oh, that's disgusting. Barf bag needed an all can. Hey up. Bonk. Bonk. My wounds heal. No shit. That was a health orb. The what the hell are they? The health orbs. When I was doing the audio test, that uh the cellar was actually open. You could go in and get some loot. Nothing spectacular, but loot nonetheless. I got some blue shoes already. Uh, magic sh boots, um, 7 armor, regenerates 2 life per second. Not bad. Not the best, but certainly, starting off, it's, it's better than nothing. I was quite, quite... Oh, here's a quote for you. I was quite, quite obsessive the first time I came through here uh, in uh, m making damn sure that I uh, killed like, every enemy and explored every part of the map. I don't think I'll be quite that obsessive this time around. Uh, just purely because... Uh, God damn, was that boring. Just, it was painful. Well, say boring, it was painful. Uh, quest journal, journal, uh, list. Okay, we got one on Kofi's. I am Abdal Hazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them up with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. He's less, uh, provides less knowledge than, like, uh, what's his face, uh, Kane does, but, you, you know, it's something. Oh. I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. They're like perverse versions of mother birds. It's actually quite disturbing in all honesty. My rock is low. I wonder, did I miss anything from Leia? Like, I got her journal part one. Was there a part two after I accepted the quest? Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Bonk. I require more okay. Let's ignite some air. Somehow. How are we doing that? Finish it. Thank you. Okay. During the audio test, uh, someone, uh, some undead rose from the, the uh, ground. Just for uh, me serving that scarecrow. They're quite protective. Um, this time, no fucks were given. It's all, it's a bit randomized. So, that's why. For bonk, for bonk. Ooh, that enemy just disintegrated rather than becoming a crawling torso. The corpse, we'll just keep it kabonking. Not enough rat. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh. I thought that was loose after going flying or something. I wasn't really paying attention to what was happening. I'm kind of more focused. My uh, eyes are almost glazing over. More focusing on commentary. 
Not that I think I was actually talking that much at the time. Awesome. Now we got Shield Glare. Uh, light erupts from the shield, blinding all enemies up uh, all enemies up to 30 yards in front of you for 4 seconds. You can also get Iron Skin. Your skin turns to iron, absorbing 50% of all incoming damage for 4 seconds. Consecration. Consecrate the ground around you for t 10 seconds. You and your allies heal for 35 life per second while standing on the consecrated ground. Our prob 35 life probably changes depending on stats. Judgment. Pass judgment on all enemies within 20 yards of the targeted location, mobilizing them for 6 seconds. This game is probably more fun to play than co-op, but, eh. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm in the mood to go, you know, see if I can round up people. Christ, yo, charge. Just, may as well just, um, start bonking people here rather than trying to round people up so we can go smack people around. Be careful, my helmet. I'm tanky, but not incredibly so. I'm actually, 202 uh, two points of uh, hit points. Ooh, and here's another wretched butter. Come on, more bang, uh, more bonking. Yo. I'm almost tempted to switching back to the initial thing. Uh, I can't remember what heightened senses does, but the attacks are worth more. Like, they do more damage. Uh, increases block chance. It's actually good for survivability. I'll leave Slash till uh, a later stage. Like, say, if I had. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, the two hander. The rumors of torture and worse grow every day. What has happened to Tristram and its king? I once thought Leoric a great man, but it seems I was deceived. We all were. He sends our meager army against Westmarch on the morrow. What will become of us? And I'll read it, just on the off chance you can't hear it. I think you should, but still. The rumors of torture and worse grow every day. What has happened to Tristram and its king? I once thought Leoric a great man, but it seems I was deceived. We all were. He sends our meager army against Westmarch on tomorrow. What will become of us? Well, we all die, and your king is driven mad by the uh, Diablo, Lord of Terror. I require more oh, there, there's an answer. I grow weak. Christ. Do I have a corpse? My god, they're burlier than I remember. Then again, I was playing Witch Doctor, who comes with uh, helpers. Legendary item? Really? I hope I get the legendary pants. They, uh, if you're surrounded by enemies, um, legendary pants around here, uh, you, it's made of plague victim skin. You release a smell that does tons of damage. I had it on my uh, barbarian. I dis disenchanted them to get a set gear. Um, Blind. Uh, I disenchanted him to get set here, um, and um, I kind of regret it because the the pants did what it, it was based. The stench it released was based off your um, weapon damage, so it will grow as you leveled. So you know it it was really good. So if you were really burly, these pants were really burly. It's their stats wouldn't measure up, but you would get an extra passive AOE as long as there's a number of enemies nearby. That was on level with what you should have. It was really lovely. So I hope I get them. Is this a fucking crown? All hail King Drom. Actually, this doesn't make sense. Leoric's crown is elsewhere. But I'm taking it. Uh, so 25 strength, 19 vitality, 19 life per hit. Oh 
very nice. 